The guys got the win, it was a bounce back win, but uh, once you got the lead, it appeared that a little bit of apathy may have crept into the game. Can you talk about that? I don't think there was apathy. I really don't. I think there were a lot of chances that didn't go in. I think Swift Current did a very good job making adjustments in game on their penalty kill, on their power play, in their neutral zone, in their defensive zone. They're well coached, and it's a it's a good group of players there. So they they pushed back and they made it hard, and um, we had to push back to get a late goal and extend the lead a little bit and get through some penalty kills. And it was a hard game. It was a really good test for our guys. Talk about. Uh Gould in his first game uh, in WHL didn't get too many shots. The defense obviously, you know, stuck up for him and, and prevented the shots. But talk about his first outing. For sure, I thought he was excellent. He was really solid. He knew the game plan. He knew where the shots were likely to be coming from. He controlled his crease well. He handled the puck well. Also, he got us whistles. Made a couple of big saves. Did everything we could uh, we could possibly hope for. So a great start to his career. Andrew Fighting from uh, the Broncos at one point had 13 of 18 face-off wins and uh, perhaps that uh, had something to do with the, the power play um, later in the game. Uh, can you talk about uh, what you got to fix there? Well, Andrew's a great center, so it helps that uh, we're not playing him next game because he's a really good center and wins a lot of draws. Uh, you know, we work on, on face-offs every day and uh, sometimes a centerman does a good job on a face-off circle and gets hot and um, so we'll continue to work on face-offs to make sure our percentage goes up, but uh, there's not a particular concern in, in that regard. But I know Andrew a little bit from Alberta. He's a great player and he's, he's awesome on the circle, so I'm not surprised that uh, you know, he's successful overall in his face-off percentage and you know, that he had a good night tonight. He's a great player. Uh, you mentioned special teams was a big fact in the two weekend games against Vancouver. Your special team started out two for two tonight. What did you see from them that you really liked? Well, I thought our puck retrieval was excellent. That was the most important part. And uh, JF and the other assistant coaches do a really good job preparing our players on the special team side. And uh, JF had a plan for those guys as far as you know how to attack Swift Current's net, how to retrieve pucks and create scoring chances. They executed it flawlessly. And then as I mentioned before, Swift Current did a good job adjusting to that. So we got two right away. Swift Current adjusted and then we had to make some adjustments and so it was a bit of a chess match there. In the third, uh, one play in particular that I noticed on the penalty kill, Taryn finds your yeah. big diving block. I saw you all fired up on the bench. Yeah. Is that something you like to see for your team as these guys sacrificing their bodies, particularly with the rookie in there? It was massive. That's the kind of person Taryn is. And it's the kind of group that we have here. They sacrifice for each other. They make big plays like that for each other. And that was a huge moment in the game. So Fern was pushing, they had the power play. They were within two goals, I believe, at the time. They got a wide open look and out of nowhere, Taron comes flying through and eats that puck. I mean, that was massive. So uh, a lot of respect for him and his game. Two big games up on the weekend against Kelowna, division rival. How do you guys prepare for these weekend games? We're going to rest tomorrow for sure and recover a little bit. We'll go over a couple things we need to be better at tactically. Uh, but, you know, as we talk about all the time, we want to make sure we're improving every day. So we'll need to be better Friday. Uh, in order to have success, and we'll try to start preparing for that tomorrow. And um, how, what's, what's the kind of messaging uh, with the players when you're playing another team with the uh, sub two wins so far this season, only have two games against them? Yeah, the, the record is really irrelevant. Cologne is always tough to play against. It's a tremendous organization. They've got a great team. They're well managed. They're well coached. Record's not indicative of their level of play or ability this year at all. Those are going to be two really tough games that we're, we're really excited to play. All right, thank you. Thanks, Dad. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, Dante, uh, good game. You got four points. It's pretty solid. Do you, do you, do you find that uh, perhaps uh, the team uh, sort of backed off a bit once you had a bit of a lead? Uh, I, feel, I don't think we really backed off. I thought uh, we just stuck to our game plan. Uh, we came out strong, and that's uh, what we talked about uh, before the game. I thought we did that well, and now uh, we just uh, kept going. And uh, we, uh, we just uh, stuck to our little tactics, and uh, it worked out for us. Talk about a 200-foot game. You've got a, a rookie goalie in net. Uh, you guys obviously uh, protected him. And just give a full shot. Talk about his game, though. Yeah, Goldie, uh, he's been uh, working uh, unbelievably hard uh, since he's been here, and uh, I'm happy for him. He got uh, big, uh, his first win here, so I'm uh, proud of him. And, uh, yeah, we just uh, try to get, get in front of shots for him. Like, uh, Fives had that huge block for us, uh, and a couple other guys uh, had some big blocks. But uh, Goldie, he played outstanding tonight. Talk about your, uh, you're having a great, great season points wise. Talk about your, uh, your chemistry with, with your line mates so far. Yeah, I thought uh, Sid, Cuts, and I, uh, we've, we've been clicking uh, even last practice. Uh, we had a 
we, we had a pretty good practice and I thought uh, everything was going well so we were just looking forward to bring it uh, to the game tonight and I thought uh, uh, from practice it uh, helped out a lot of them. Nice bounce back win for your team after suffering your first loss of the season last Saturday. Another back to back this weekend against Kelowna. How are you guys heading into the weekend? Uh, we're just going to prepare tomorrow, come in, uh, get a good, good uh, cool down in and uh, we're just going to focus on uh, the first game. Good. Perfect. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right, uh, Brock, uh, talk about your first game at uh, the WHL level. Um, you know, it was a pretty great experience. Uh, definitely the most fans I've played in front of. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was so much fun being out there and finally getting my first game. It felt great. Colorado Springs is a sporting area and it's a nice town. Yeah. But uh, talk about uh, uh, playing in Victoria. Yeah, um, Victoria is a great city. Like I love playing here. I knew when I was drafted here like that I'd, I'd love the city. And when I got here, I fell in love with the city. So yeah, it's an awesome place to play. And I'd, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else. Talk about the uh, the team playing a 200 foot game uh, in front of you today. Yeah. Being in that that it's your first game in goal at the yeah. WHL. Yeah. Um. It's it was awesome having those guys play amazing in front of me. Um. Both ends of the ice they're unreal. Um. You know, Fives had a great shot block there in the slot. Um. And a bunch of other guys had great block shots throughout the game. So they definitely helped me out a lot. And yeah, it's a great group of guys to play in front of. Me. How's the speed? Yeah. Sorry. How's the speed of the game? Um. I would say it's obviously faster than Midget that I played last year, um, but I've been practicing with these guys since August when I got here, so it's not too big of a difference, but yeah, it's definitely faster than where it was at last year. Yeah. How are the nerves uh, coming into the game today? Um, there's there's a little bit of nerves, um, but once you get out there, you touch puck a couple of times, you just realize it's just a hockey game, the game you've been playing all life, so yeah. Uh, playing behind Griffin Outhouse, how has he kind of coached you up and gotten you ready yeah. for tonight? He's a great mentor. Um, I'm sure a lot of people saw him. I like I'd skate to the bench and I talked to him, just giving like positive reinforcement and like just telling me good job and stuff, and just learning from what he does every day to prepare and recover from all the games that he plays. It's really, really good to learn from. The uh, Broncos goalie uh, took exception to Martinoff uh, firing the puck late, and he fired it back at him. What would you have done in that situation? Um, uh, I can't say I would have shot the puck at him. Um, it's hard to say because he was my goalie partner last year and I'm actually pretty good friends with him. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's tough to say. <laughs> I, I, it's cool when he saw him play a penalty shot and like he had a little fired up so I can kind of understand like, that he's getting a little fired up and happy to stop it. So, yeah. With you and the goalie being friends and working together last season, Martinoff was talking about the penalty yeah. shot. You trying to give him some tips? Yeah, I was just telling him like just what his tendencies were. Because um, I will give credit to Poulter. He is, he's pretty good at breakaways, especially. Um, yeah, I was just kind of telling him, you know, just, you know, be patient because he's patient. And, yeah. All right, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you.